Hey everyone, welcome to this course overview lecture. Before we get started, I have one quick favor to ask of you, and that is to please do not skip this lecture, even if you've already taken other Udemy courses in the past, or if you've even taken some of my own courses in the past, we've packed in a lot of useful information in this one lecture, so don't be tempted to jump straight ahead to the technical material. In fact, we're even gonna go over the course curriculum in this lecture, so a lot of useful information here. Go ahead and just watch the whole thing, and I thank you very much for that favor. So what do we actually talk about in this course overview lecture? We're going to discuss how to get help during the course, some useful course taking tips so you can get the best course experience, how to get the notes for this course, how this course curriculum is structured, and also please check your automated welcome message for some nice useful information and useful links there, including information about how to access our chat channels. So let's get started with how to get help during the course. The very first thing you should do is if you're on an error that's just a simple typo or you're getting an error that says maybe something like module not found, please double check that you're running our provided notes directly. For every single lecture, there's a set of files or notes that corresponds to that lecture that you should be able to run and get the exact same result we do. Also, keep in mind, and we're going to discuss this in more detail later, that we actually have an environment file for you to use. That way you can make sure you're running the same code in the same environment that we developed it in. Because Plotly and Dash, they're really new libraries, so I'm certain they'll change in the future. And in order to avoid any simple typos, mistakes, or errors, go ahead and run our provided notes in our provided environment. If that still doesn't work for you, and you have a more general question that is not related to something that simply running the notes will fix, I would actually suggest that you do a quick search in Plotly and Dash documentation. There's a lot of useful links and information there that may quickly get you an answer. Or you can also try using Google or Stack Overflow search. Those allow you to get a really fast response because it's simply just searching in your browser for useful information. Now let's say that still doesn't work for you you can go ahead and search the previous question answer forum posts and see if a student had a similar question to you in the past that's most likely already been answered in the question and answer posts. If none of those solutions work for you, feel free to post a new question to the question and answer forums and either I or one of the teaching assistants will be happy to get back to you and help you out. One quick note on getting help in general. If you're having trouble with the Udemy platform or you're having issues such as video player issues or you have questions about your certification or things like payment issues or enrollment issues where the course is missing, I can't actually help you with that. Your best way to get help with that is to either open a support ticket on the support page for Udemy or to email them directly at support at udemy.com. Again, those are things for like platform issues, issues with the video players or certification, etc. Some quick useful tips for getting the best course experience. You can use the gear settings on the video player to adjust the playback speed. So for a lot of people, including myself, they like to kind of zip through the videos, especially if they already have the corresponding notes. So personally, I tend to watch lectures at 2x speed. Or maybe English isn't your first language, so you want to slow it down a bit. You can adjust things like captions or slower playback speeds on the gear settings on the video player. You can also feel free to jump around sections if you already feel familiar with some material. And we're gonna go over the curriculum in just a little bit to give you a better idea of what sections you can skip if you're already an experienced Python developer. Okay, so this is the overall course curriculum. Now, these are the main topics. These aren't exactly lined up with the sections, but you can think of these as the overall themes that we're gonna cover throughout this course. We first start off with the introduction section, and that's basically the section you're in right now. It consists of the course overview lectures, such as the curriculum overview that we're going through right now, a frequently asked questions lecture that you can quickly check, and also a general overview of the data visualization ecosystem for Python and what Plotly and Dash use cases are. So the data visualization ecosystem for Python is very new and it updates very frequently. So what we're gonna have here as the last lecture for this kind of introduction section is just a broad overview explanation of what Plotly is, what Dash is, what different types of problems they solve for you, and just more general information so you can be informed of what you're gonna learn throughout the course. So that's gonna be the end of that introduction section that we're in right now. Then after that, we're gonna have a NumPy and Pandas crash course section. So in order to actually create dashboards and plots, we need data. And we're gonna be using NumPy to generate random data sometimes, or we'll be using Pandas to read in existing data sets. And if you've never actually worked with NumPy or Pandas, we need to teach you those just a little bit first in order to move on to learning about Plotly and Dash. 
So in that crash course, we teach you just the very, very basics of NumPy and the very basics of Pandas. You're not going to be an expert in either of those. You're going to know just enough in order to continue off the course with Plotly and Dash. If you've already taken one of my previous courses in data science or machine learning or Python and you're already familiar with those libraries, you can probably go ahead and skip that crash course section. We do have a quick exercise overview so you can check out what skill level you need to be to continue on with the course. After that, we start off with Plotly basic charts and plots. So Plotly has a Python visualization library already and it's called Plotly and it can produce interactive plots on its own in Python. So in this section, we're going to explain how to reproduce the main types of plots with just Python and Plotly. So it's not dashboards yet, it's just interactive individual plots. Once we understand that, then we move on to actually learning about Dash basics for dashboards. So here we begin working with the actual Dash library from Plotly to begin serving components and several plots as a web app in our browser. So that's going to be a little different than just a singular Plotly plot. Instead, we're going to be able to combine multiple things and have a full service dashboard that's actually basically a web service or web app in your browser. So once we learn about the Dash basics, we'll move on to discussing some advanced Dash topics. So Dash has several more advanced and complex features that are definitely worth exploring. And I think that's this is really where the awesome part of the course comes into play. We'll deal with things like multiple inputs and outputs, interactive components, controlling callbacks with state, and linking together group Plotly plots. So a lot of really cool things in that advanced Dash topics. Then, because we've learned so much by this point in the course, we go ahead and try to wrap everything together with a code along milestone project. So we'll bring in together everything we've learned so far at this point in the course with a larger code along milestone project. And what we're gonna be doing, and you may have seen a little glimpse of it in some of the preview videos, is that we create a basic web app that will automatically look up and serve stock ticker data for you in two sets of timestamps that you get to choose. And this is all done through a Dash dashboard in pure Python. It's a really cool project and I'm super excited for you guys to work through it. Then once you've done that milestone project, we just need to finish up with some more advanced topics on basically having your dashboards interact with other people. So one of those things is live real-time updating. So we're gonna see how we can let dashboards update themselves in real-time with a continuous stream of data. And we'll have a really cool project there where we read in live flight radar data and serve a dashboard that's constantly updating information about that. And then finally, we'll talk about deployment and authorization. So throughout the course, we're really just gonna be serving dashboards locally on a single computer. But eventually, most likely, you're not gonna be the only person using your dashboard. Other people at your company or maybe other people around the world are gonna to wanna to see the dashboards you create. So we're gonna walk you through how to host dashboards on a server such as Heroku. And then we'll also talk about securing dashboards to only be seen by authorized viewers. So maybe you want to host something online, but only let certain people see it. We'll show you how to do that with Dash and dashboards as well. Okay, so last but not least, a huge thank you for enrolling in this course. I'm always so humbled that students decide to choose my courses as resources for them to learn and continue to build an understanding of Python, programming, and a variety of topics. So thank you so much for enrolling in this course, and I'm really excited to start teaching you Plotly and Dash for Dashboards. If at this point you have some sort of question of something we've already discussed, go ahead and send me a message on Udemy. I'll be happy to get back to you. All right, let's get started.